reconcile button. When we turn that on and we go into the reconcile screen in QuickBooks Online, you are now going to see a new delete button that wasn't there uh, from QuickBooks originally. So when you click on the transaction, you now see this delete button. That delete button actually is a right tool button only. And essentially what that button does is exactly what you expect it to do. When you click on delete, it uh, opens the transaction, hits the delete button, and then it opens it up on this screen where it says, are you sure you want to delete this? And at this point, you can say yes or no, whatever you want. Obviously, you're going to hit yes, but you do get that warning. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, yes. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to now use a different setting, a subsetting called auto confirm delete. So essentially, it's the same setting, delete from reconcile, but auto confirm delete. And what that does is when I, now when I go hit the delete button, I don't have to hit yes on that next warning. So for example, open the transaction here, click on delete, and I don't have to do anything. It would actually open the transaction, hit delete, and hit yes for you in your behalf. The other really cool thing that it would do is that it will land on the next transaction that's in there. So for example, you see this uh, payroll taxes over here, payroll expenses actually. When I delete this, it should land on the next payroll expenses, 8,120. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete, and I'm just gonna let it be. It's gonna hit delete for you hit yes, and then it's gonna land right on the next transaction. So you can just keep deleting. You can keep pressing delete one by one if you need to delete a whole bunch at the same time.